Hello YouTube, Uncle Lucky here, and now we're going to do our uh, Wednesday reviews. Now some of these comic books, I'm not going to go by a number or stars or anything like that. I'm going to kind of keep it more simplistic. It's going to be either buy it now, uh, wait for it to be a graphic novel or a hardcover, or just don't even waste your money. I, I don't want to believe in numeric systems and, and things like that. It just I don't think it gives anything to the reader to to have numbers and everything put on stuff. So this week we're going to talk about two comic books that I want to talk about. Um, first one's going to be Doctor Fate. Now Doctor Fate is an interesting character unto himself because he's not really a person. Uh, any of you that don't really know anything about Doctor Fate, he's really got a cool backstory because. Dr. Fate is a helmet, uh, uh, a being inhabiting the helmet, the helmet of fate. So he's not really a person, it's whoever wears the helmet. And after you wear the helmet for so long, you actually kind of start to go mad and weird things start to happen to the, the main characters. It's always been a story arc since way back uh, when fate came out, I think in the 40s, that, you know, he he inhabits the helmet and the people who wear the helmet take his guidance and, and have the power through him. So they've rebooted him recently, basically. They've given him a new character's bio. Uh, the character, the young man in the comic book is Khalid. I uh, never can say that correctly, I don't think. Khalid uh, Nasser. He's an Egyptian-American. And as you can see here by Fate number four. He's uh, he's an interesting character. He's got a really good build up. They've they've kind of fleshed him out really well about his passions and what he's you know he's trying to be a real doctor in real life. The problem with the comic book so far, and I really 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 want to love this comic book because I'm I'm interested in Doctor Fate. I I've think that he's needed his own. Story comic book for a, a while now. He's usually, you know, with the Justice uh, Society and, and things like that, but he kind of... the story is just so kind of over... all over the place. It's really hard because first off, the big faux pas here was that before issue number one came out, um, they did something online where you could go and read the, the pre-story story basically online and when they were released the first issue they didn't put that in the comic book so if you were like me and you missed that part of it and you didn't go and look on the internet to see what was going on number one is really kinda confusing because they just throw you in there and Khalid is standing in a museum I'm not gonna give a whole bunch away for spoilers but he's just standing in a museum just like boom out of nowhere there's just a kid standing in a museum uh, talking to a statue and you just have no clue what's going on. So that in itself was kind of bad management as far as I'm concerned. They, they kind of dropped the ball with that. But then art style, definitely an acquired taste. Um, I like it sometimes and then other times it looks kind of lazy to me. Uh, it's, it's hard to put into words. It really is. It's you get through one issue and go, oh, that was kind of cool. Then you get through a second one, but we're, we're four months in now on you know the newest one that's come out, number four, and you, you're kind of getting confused on, on where he's jumping back and forth. Um, the story, some of them have, some of the comics have kind of limited on words. It's a lot more of the main character trying to figure out his powers, and then all of a sudden, one book is just nothing but text bubbles all over the place. And if I was going to give a recommendation for this comic book, I'm giving it a chance. I'm, I'm going to wait till it gets to issue six, which is usually uh, more often than not is the graphic novel or hardcover that'll be the first one sold. So once I get to number six, I'm going to see how it's going from there. But for right now, if I was going to give a recommendation, I would say wait for this one to get to its first six issue run to see what, what they do with it and where it goes. Um, it's just kind of a hard sell right now, and I really, really want to love it, but it's, it's hard. It really is. 
But now, the second one I want to talk about, and for anybody who is into the Green Lantern, or like me, I, I've been reading comic books off and on all my life, uh, for years and years and years, and I've bought them on and off. And sometimes you just don't have the money, sometimes things are happening, sometimes you don't like where all the comic book stories are going. For anybody who uh, kind of gave up on Green Lantern, which I'm a huge fan, big, my favorite of all, um, for anybody who wants to get back into Green Lantern, right now is a really good time, I think, um, because they're on issue 40, 43, I believe, 43, somewhere in there. But if you really want to pick up into an interesting time and something different that they've done with the Green Lantern, go for this one right here. This, this is issue 41, and it's titled Renegade. And I'll tell you what, if you haven't read one in a long time, if you haven't picked up any Green Lantern comic books, this is a great jumping off point, because you don't have to have a whole bunch of information on what's going on, because there's, there's a lot going on, but if you just scratch the surface, basically, the Guardians of Io have, are, they went nuts, Enough said about them. Um, the galaxy got angry at the Green Lanterns. Everybody thinks that they're they're bad, uh, that they're intergalactic cops. They're abusing their power. Um, I said I, Oa, sorry, Guardians of Oa. Uh, the Guardians went nuts. Everybody's blaming the Green Lanterns. They think that they're all crazy. So basically, Hal Jordan decides I'm going to take the hit for the team. I'm going to just go and everybody can blame me and take the heat off of the Green Lantern Corps and I'm going to go run off. So he goes to do his own thing. It's got a really cool story. As you can see that uh, he gives up his ring and he's now got this going for him. I'm not going to explain that too much because again that's a, that's a pretty cool one. If you get issue uh, number 40 it'll explain a little bit about that. Basically, it's the pre-power ring. It's the first, it was what the power ring was going to end up being. But, with this new Renegade storyline, it's just really good. It's really cool because Hal's on his own. He's let his hair grow out. He's not wearing the Green Lantern Corps outfit. He's, you know, got trench coat. He just, he looks cool. He is cool. He's got two buddies with him, two sidekicks now, that, that that's leading into more story arcs. But it also ties into the fact that there's uh, the new series uh, Lost Army, which is the Green Lantern's core, have disappeared. Nobody knows what happened to them. So Hal, on one side of the story arc, is going to find out what happened to the core. And then if you read the core, which we'll probably talk about later, they have their own story arc and they've completely disappeared, and nobody knows where they're at. So, uh, if you haven't read a Green Lantern comic book in a while, issue 41, Renegade, and it's also got uh, alternate covers. Uh, I had a hard time finding this one, to tell you the truth. Uh, I couldn't get my hands on it for a while. I had to end up ordering it off of uh, mycomicshop.com. Uh, but, it's, it's a good starting off point if you haven't read a Green Lantern comic in a while. It really is. It's... it's kind of easy to understand. There's not a whole bunch of stuff getting thrown at you. You just have to know the basics. Basics, he's a renegade now. Taking one for the team, going through space, still doing what Hal does, saving people, helping out, but he's pretty much undercover, so to speak, because he's being tracked. People know now that he's supposedly the bad guy, so... Green Lantern, good starting off point. Highly recommend number 41. Uh, number 40 right before it gives you a little bit more what's going on, but if you haven't collected in a while, number 41, excellent. Great comic book. Dr. Fate, give it away. Just give it away till till the sixth issue or when they decide to put out the graphic for it, uh, the hardcover. Uh, that, that's just, I'm going to give it two more issues. But unfortunately, since they're not keeping my attention, Doctor Strange comes out this month in October, so that's going to be that's going to be good. That's going to be one I'm waiting for. So this has been Lucky. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.